One of the things that struck me was just how amazing a life she had had and yet seemed completely not full of herself, just the opposite of that. But here's a woman who, who has touched history, who has been part of history, and yet really, you know, this was just, well, it was just her life, and, and uh, she doesn't really sort of see herself as a historic figure. And I wonder what she thought when you approached her about making a movie about her life. <laughs> um, I've been friends with Ruth for about 15 years, and during this entire time, People have been coming up to me saying, Ruth Gruber is such an incredible woman, I want to make a film about her life. And I used to say, go ahead, make it. No one ever did anything, so finally, either her 90s, about her 97th birthday, I said, I am sick and tired of hearing that people want to make a movie about your life. You, you are so amazing. We're going to make a film about your life, and we're giving it to you for your 98th birthday. She said, okay. <laughs> she was very comfortable with it. You're right. She's not taken with herself. She feels that her mission is to save people and that she rescues people. And this is just her calling. She is very, very modest. And she was a little bit afraid when we started doing the film that it would be you know, a fluffy piece and Ziva assured her that it would be a very serious film. And when she first saw it, she was just overwhelmed and thrilled with the way it came out. She is very modest, and it's quite beautiful to see. She doesn't see herself, I don't think, as we see her. Just so everybody knows who we have up here, to, from, from my immediate left, moving down, Patty Kenner, Denise Benmoche, and Ziva Obama the producers of the film. I, I would just add one thing. Uh, when she first saw the trailer, because we did a seven minute trailer before we did the film, Ruth didn't respond. Um, Patty and Doris, the other executive producer, were very moved. It was a very moving piece, and Ruth was sort of shocked and overwhelmed because she had never viewed herself in that way before, just as, though, as, just as what you said. As you were sort of researching and learning her story, what was it that most struck you about it? Was there something that you didn't, how much of it did you know, and what was the most surprising thing to you? Well, I did not know Ruth very well. I had, um, I was good friends with the third executive producer, Doris Schechter, and had been with Ruth at many events and intersected with her, but really didn't know her story. The thing that struck me most is how many, uh, the variety of her experiences and the variety of her roles in those, in those experiences. And that was a bit of a challenge that her life, we had to create the linear arc sort of because she was va 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 boom on so many fronts. How about the, uh, the two of you? Well, I met Ruth at Patty's house uh, for the first time close up and personal. And it was at an event where um, Ruth was uh, trying to, well actually they were doing a chair for her for the International Institute of Education. And um, she, we were um, raising money to rescue scholars from around the world who had been persecuted. And that really spoke to me. I mean, throughout my life through high school, I had seen books by Ruth Gruber that were designated to me that my mother had gone to this temple or that talk or whatever, and it was always Ruth's name on a book dedicated to Denise. I still have those. <laughs> and, but but it, it, it's, she just struck me as such a wonderful, um, enthusiastic, magnanimous, caring humanitarian that I just wanted to be like her. <laughs> so um, I got involved with my two friends and decided um, this is for me and she is the most incredible human being to this day. Well, Patty, you knew her well. Was there anything that, as, that you found out as, there, as you were making this film that you hadn't known? 
In general, I did know most of the things about her, but of course, as each new thing became more detailed, I was constantly shocked at her role. I mean, when Mordecai Rossman, the leader of the refugees, says that Ruth made our struggle known to the world, I mean, it just gives me the chills. She did so many amazing things. I was saying to some of my friends, um, you know, and as Ziva said, her experiences were so varied. For one of my birthdays, I was telling someone as we were coming up, she said, what do you want for your birthday? And I said, I would like a lecture on Virginia Woolf. And so I set up 50 chairs in my dining room and invited 50 friends over. And for one hour, Ruth gave us a lecture on Virginia Woolf, which is who she did her dissertation on when she was 20 years old. She's just brilliant, and she's done so many things that I'm constantly being surprised. But in general, I know who she is, and that's why I swore that in my lifetime, I'll do lovely little things, but I'll never be able to do this. So the only gift I could give back to the world was letting everyone know about Ruth Gruber. As the, uh, the film unfolded, I mean, it's, what was also remarkable is that she was doing this at a time when women didn't do these things, that women were not out in the world you know, being reporters, being journalists, being ambassadors, and that here she was undaunted uh, not making a big deal out of the fact that, hey, I'm a woman and I'm doing this for women, but just doing it because it was the thing that needed to be done. Does she have any sense, do you think, of just what a pioneer she was in that sense? I think she definitely knows she was a pioneer, but that was who she was. She said, I had to get out of Brooklyn when I was younger. I had to go places. I had to do things. She. She knew she was a pioneer, and she was always very restless, she said. So she knew who she was, but I don't think she thought she was so special. She thought this is just what she had to do. And she realizes along the way she had wonderful mentors. She speaks about Helen Reed was such a fabulous mentor for her and gave her such wonderful opportunities at the Herald Tribune. And in many other cases, she just stood up and did what she had to do. She has a very strong sense of self. You know, one of the things that I think is so special about, about the way the film ended up is she's a role model for women. She's a role model for human beings. She has such strength of character that we all learn from her. You know, dream dreams, she says, and do what you have to do and don't ever give up. She gives us all the strength to go on every day, you know, and she encourages me to be the best I can be. She's just a role model for all of us. I mean, that's, 